Hi, this is Dr. Donald Felto here. We're looking at a patient that she actually came in a couple of days ago for an ingrown toenail. And there's a couple of concerns because there is a little pus. If you squeeze this, that white stuff there, that's some pus that's in there. That's not typical with an ingrown toenail. So there are a few concerns that we had. One, well, did it go deeper? So we got an x-ray and there wasn't any obvious changes. What we were looking for is if there's any a bone infection or anything in there, and there, there was not. And the other concern I have is, you know, it could be from the circulation, because this patient's a little bit older, and uh, or it could just be a simple granuloma. This is this uh, granuloma tissue here, but you see how bleeding that is? And because it's bleeding so much, I think I'm gonna put a little uh, tourniquet around here. And for anyone watching this, I already did, uh, anesthetize or numb up the toe. So don't try this at home if you have this. This patient has already been placed in an antibiotic uh, and we are going to... This is just for the swelling. So we want to milk out all that pus that's in there and I, and I think we actually have to free up and open up a little bit more to get that freed uh, up in the base. So when you're when you're trying to deal with ingrown toenails or any type of wound, you want to have a a nice kind of beefy red tissue. We kind of kind of equate it to I don't know why we use food in in, in medicine, but kind of a ground to ground beef. Want it to look nice and beefy. And you want to find out where this pus is coming from. So. There is some more pus coming from back there. So when there's pus, we do two things. Um, one is we take a cotton-tipped applicator and we want to find out where the pus is coming from. So we use this really just to kind of probe and see where it goes. And it, and it does go, you can see how far it goes underneath there. And it also probes up here. See how it's going in that direction? And so that's probably where the pus is coming from, over there on the side. And so it's kind of like a hidden pocket that needs to be opened up. And it, it probes a little bit this direction too, but and a little bit that way. So it's all kind of probing in this area. And it kind of goes that way, all the way kind of over there. Okay, so what do we do with this? We want to keep this kind of open for this patient. So since it's probing here and over there, I try to pick kind of the midway point. You okay watching this? Okay. I try to pick the midway point and I, I have to open up the skin here. And you see we, we just kind of open it up wherever it goes. And so that's gonna help it to drain. So the purpose of this is to, to really clean out all that pus that might be in there and all that kind of that bad tissue that's in there. And then all this is just kind of bad dead tissue in there and we like to try to remove as much of that as we can. So there is a concern here for this patient of you know, it going close to the bone, that's why we get the, the, the x-ray of the, to see that there's no bone infection. Okay, and I don't normally take cultures uh, when I do these, but to make sure we're on that right antibiotic for this patient, I am gonna take a culture. So we've tried to kind of clear everything up in there, and I don't wanna get the skin. So what I wanna do is I wanna kind of get deep inside of here and get a deep, a deep wound culture and try to avoid as much of the bone as I can. And this is really just going to verify that we had the proper antibiotic. Now in, in t this isn't a typical uh, ingrown toenail in terms of what happens. Normally it's nice and easy, but this is one of the more challenging ones when it, when it gets infected. So we're going to send that off to a, 
the lab to see what it is. So now you have this incision here and we have the area that's opened up and I think we've opened it enough. Okay, see it's all open in there in the sides. And so what do you do now? Now what we do is we get a little bit of sterile gauze and, and there's, there is enough liquid in there and drainage right in there. And so I'm going to grab here. There's a little saline. So what we're going to do first is we're going to try to just kind of Drain this now. Don't just be careful. You don't want to get this, otherwise, it gets all over the place. Okay, so I just kind of cleaned it out. And this patient's going to soak it once a day. I'm probably going to put her in a special surgical shoe afterwards. And I might even set up some visiting nurses. I uh, just it's a little Good. bit older patient here. Yeah, for you. Just have a nurse come. That's great. Yeah, look at things. Okay, so I'm gonna. I. Okay. Now, when would I remove the rest of the toenail? Well, if if it's really loose, I would do that. It's not loose here, and I would prefer to to not do that if I can. But that would the next step would be that would be removing the whole toenail, if it doesn't get better. Okay. So what we'll do, the way you pack this, is you just kind of put this underneath the skin in that area and kind of go down into this area. So this is the packing of the, the wound in there. And they're gonna try to, they're gonna try to do that. It's, it's hard, once you pull this out the first time, it hurts a little bit, and then it's a little hard to, if it's not numbed up, to do this again. But that's how you do the packing. With some, it's called a saline, wet to dry. And then I'm gonna put a regular dressing on this and we're gonna see the patient, uh, they're gonna see visiting nurses and I'll probably see her back in a week to make sure it's getting better. If it's not getting better, we got an x-ray, we might get another x-ray, we might get an MRI uh, to see if it's affected anything else that we can't see on the x-ray. So this is a really bad infected toenail. It happened before, I saw her once, didn't look this bad, it actually looked pretty good initially, but it just, it just got bad. So this is one of the not so common uh, ingrown toenails.